everybody and welcome to yet another first look. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jetpack Joyride which is going to be on Kickstarter soon. Jetpack Joyride is a game for 1-4 to four players that takes 15 to 30 minutes to play and it's for ages 8 and up. This is a very fast paced puzzle game and a race game at the same time. The players try to escape their individual labs creating a path with the translucent tiles that they place on their labs. At the same time, they gather coins and they try to fulfill missions and use special gadgets that they find on their way. Let's take a look at the game. Each of the players takes four lab cards and places them in front of them in ascending order from one to four. You also shuffle the gadget cards and the mission cards and put them in the center of the table. And you also have the translucent tiles close by. All players play simultaneously during the course of the game. The game has three phases, run, score and clean up. Before every run, open three missions and place them in the center of the table. During the run, all players take at the same time one of the translucent tiles and place them on their lab board according to some rules that they have to follow. All players play simultaneously. Each player takes one of the semi-translucent tiles and places them on the lab in front of them. One of its ends must be in the outside of their lab. Then the next of the tiles need to be placed with one of their ends at least adjacent to the previous tile. Essentially what you try to do during the course of the game is that you try to gather coins and fulfill some of the missions that have been opened at the beginning of the phase. The second phase is the scoring phase. After somebody finishes and exits their own lab then the scoring phase begins. You count all the coins that you have gathered throughout the course of the game and you also see the points that you have gathered from completing missions. If you have not followed any of the placement rules then you lose 3 points. You take a note of the total of your points on the very nice scoring pad that is provided in the game. The third phase is the cleanup phase. So every player takes all the tiles off of their lab and places them again in the middle of the table and also cleans up all the mission cards, discards them and opens new ones. Before you move on to the next phase, you also open as many gadget cards as the number of players in the game. Then the player with the least points is the one to choose one of the gadget cards and the rest of the players follow up. Shift the tiles that you have in front of you to your left so that the player on your left has the same lab as you do. And this is how the game plays. It is a very, very easy game. It is really a fast, fast paced game. Uh, and it is very, very fun because uh, you always have one tile on your hand and you try to move very fast. You try to keep in your mind to follow the rules and try to remember the missions and beat other players to finish before they do. This is a game that has great replayability uh, because only three mission cards open up at the beginning of each run which is a very limited number and also a very limited number of gadget cards opens too so every game is going to be different also as you can see there are very uh, many different lab cards that you can take so the combination of the labs is going to be different every time so it's actually not possible to remember what route uh, to create in order to enter and exit the lab um, this game was very fun. You can play it solo too as it has a special variant. It was a very nice game and a very enjoyable time with all numbers of players for everyone to play. Uh, interaction is not apparent of course but you just have fun because of the tense that the time limitation brings in the table. If you like the game the way you listen to it, then make sure to check at their Kickstarter with the link you can find in the description. If you liked our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get informed about more videos and more games to come. Until next time!